a story once. A story of a vengeful mother and the death of her son, Jason. I didn't believe it at first, but this town has a dark history. Covers it like a thick fog. Some say Jason never died. No one knows for sure. Legend goes on Friday the 13th, 1984, he returned to Crystal Lake. What have they done to you, my sweet wife? He killed 37 people and was fatally wounded by a 12-year-old boy. wasn't the end. I really don't like this. This place is creepy. What are we doing out here, Sheriff? What needs to be done? This is gonna be a long night. Did you just see the look on that Jarvis kid's face? Yeah, I'd be fucked up too. I found my mom dead in the bathtub. It's gonna be a lifetime of therapy. Hey, you quit your yapping and you keep digging. Should've been a fireman. Get in there and lock it up. Lock it up! Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Toss me the lock.
You'll be happy to know things are going pretty well down at the station. Not that it's up to your standards, but I have everything under control. Other than the occasional lost dog, it's actually pretty boring. What else? Oh, Eve's finally starting to take this job seriously. Really have no idea why she joined the department in the first place. Hey, so what's up? Sorry, I mean, go for Glover. You see the sheriff this morning? No, I haven't seen him today. Let him know there's a 187 at the corrections farm. Yep, sure. Okay, we'll be there. Hey, Pete. Where the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Glover, I told you, use the calls. Go ahead. Yeah, they need us over at the corrections farm ASAP. Copy that. And Pete, can you bring me some more coffee? Well, duty calls. Pick you up some coffee. I'm not sure. I just got here myself. That's with the marshals. I'm not quite sure. You Sheriff Daltry? That's right. And this is Deputy Eve Glover. You mind uh, telling us what the hell's going on here? I'm Bear Wilson. This is Jed Daniels. We're with the U.S. Marshal's Office. I'm going to need you to follow us. Lead the way. Exactly 47 minutes ago, a group of convicts killed this corrections officer and fled into the woods. You guys know this area better than we do. We're gonna need your assistance in setting up a joint task force so we can track them down. Look, we apologize for the intrusion, but we need your full cooperation on this. Of course, we're here to help any way we can. How many fugitives are we talking about? Three. Well, then they're gonna split up at some point, go separate ways. Yeah, she's right. It's better to catch them all at once, but... We just received the info on our runners. Serena Patrick, 27, 10 years for armed robbery and assault. Bobby Walker, 33, 15 years for the murder of her ex-wife. Alexandra Palmer, 22, five years for a hit and run while drunk driving. Well, let's get moving. Yeah. Shouldn't take long. We'll have these little ladies back in no time. What? You sure you don't want me to just go in with you? Nah. All right, well, I'll radio back to you when I get to camp. All right. Good plan. Keep your eye on the sheriff. Make sure they don't fuck things up. Thing. 
That's not my problem. Damn it. Come on. Better hurry up. <gasps> Suck my dick. Jed, this is Bear. Do you copy? Jed, do you copy? Where's Serena? I don't know. Let's just stay close. He went over? Most likely. And what's over there? Yeah, nothing to worry about. Just some land that's been locked up in a legal battle for a couple of decades. Is there any other ways in here besides the old access road Bear's headed to? Well, we figure with Bear going in through that back road, we'll hike in. Hike in? Oh, yeah, that shit's all overgrown. The only way in is by foot. Well, that's gonna give him one hell of a head start. Yeah, it's gonna be a long night. Do you hear anything? Do you hear anything? Shut up. I need to listen. your faces. Why the fuck would you do that? What if they heard us? Relax, you big bull dyke. We're the only ones out here. Come on, how am I supposed to relax since we're surrounded? I mean, what the fuck are we gonna do? They're not coming in here. Why not? Didn't you see the sign when you came in? This is Camp Crystal Lake. This place is cursed. Oh, get the fuck out of here. It's true. A long time ago, some ugly ass kid named Jason drowned in this camp. His mom worked here. She blamed the counselors, but nobody believed her. So she went nuts, ended up killing a bunch of people because of it. Sounds like they deserved it. Yeah, well, she didn't get everyone. This one girl fought back, cut that bitch's head clean off. Bullshit. That's not even the best part. I don't want to know the best part. <sighs> of course you do. A lot of people around here say Jason came back the night his mom died. He murdered three times as many people as she did, but they killed him too. They say his body is still buried in this camp somewhere which is why nobody's coming in here and why we're safe. We just need to wait it out until nightfall and slip out through the cracks. Rest up. Sundown's in two hours.
Fuck me, I was just there, bitch. Serena? Is that you? You're fucking around. Shit isn't funny. Somebody just walked on my grave. I still can't figure out why they'd go this way to begin with. I wouldn't have. If they do decide to split up, this would be the place to do it. You know, I probably should go and try and find Bear soon. Yeah, I'm just curious. Why didn't you go with him in the first place? I don't know. Maybe he thinks a couple small town cops couldn't handle the job. You know, you said it, not me. Glover, where are you? Just, just give me one second. Ah. Head over to the cabins. I'll meet you there. All right, and I'll head towards where Bear should be. Hey, radio in anything odd. This whole place is odd. <laughs>
have you been? It's got a Kimberly to get a little privacy. Oh, yeah, sure. I'm sure the fugitives will just wait for us. Look, it's getting dark. We have a cluster of cabins here and four square miles of camp to search. I want to comb through these cabins. You start with that one over there. I'll start with this one. So that one over there? Yeah, that one right over there. Just right over there. Move it. Is anyone else with you? No, why? Never mind. Let's search the rest of the cabins. Dude, I think this thing is giving me a staph infection. Good, you deserve it. I really scared you, didn't I? I will shoot you. Oh my god, you should have seen the mattress I saw. Talk about scary. Yeah, you're a real Amy Schumer. I scared you, didn't I? I really did. You know, I totally did. I could have shot you. I got you. It's not funny. Another cluster of cabins beyond that tree line. on your toes. <laughs> I don't think these gals are going to be greeting us with milk and cookies. <laughs> That's too bad. I'm kind of hungry. Hey, Sheriff. This is Jed. You got a copy? Go ahead, Jed. Remember when you said, call in anything odd? What'd you find? I hope it wasn't another penis. No, I don't know. It some sort of crate or a, or a coffin. Anyone I know inside it? Not unless you're friends with Houdini, you smart ass. What's that supposed to mean? I don't know, this thing was, looks like it was heavily locked up. Chains, padlocks, the works. Oh, and one other thing. It says, do not open on the lid. You saw a ghost. It's nothing. It doesn't look like nothing. Any word from Bear? No, nothing yet. Call me as soon as you do. Fuck me. I knew she would fucking ditch us. Keep it down. One small noise and we're caught. I think she's coming back for us. Are you serious? I trust her about as far as I could be standing. I told you she was gonna bail on us. It's like she knew where she was going. Yeah, well, if she did, we better catch up. My guess is she's headed towards the lake. Shit! Alex, wait up!
I could have shot you. I probably fucking shot you, asshole. What the fuck is wrong with you? Calm down. Calm down. What's up with that crate back there? I don't know. Something ain't right about this place, though. Yeah, I feel you. The sooner we like this shit down, the better. Let's go. Fuck yeah. Is it you, Bobby? Oh, Serena. It wasn't funny the first time either. Well, come on, I need help. The pain is killing me. That's something close. Over here! You find anything? What is it? This is fresh. Hold on. Guys? What's wrong? If that doesn't creep you out, I don't know what will. We shouldn't have come here. Over here! I'm gonna go see what Bear's sniffing out. You go with Jed, head towards the lake, and be careful. Hey, come on. Looks like your runners came this way. One stop, the one kept going. Oh, well, we know what happened to the one that kept going. Can you tell if she went in a different direction? No, I don't think so. Well, it looks like the tracks end here. <laughs> no, this shit adds up. Oh, man. Why'd they have to go this way? You know, the one back there was probably dead weight. Now, it's hard to believe those two could put a machete through a tree. You want to know what I heard? No, do tell. This place has a death curse. Bear, over here. Yeah, that's another one of our girls. Things are getting strange around here by the minute. Tell me about it. This doesn't belong to the camp. Looks like they had help. Oh, yeah? Why is it still here? Yeah, I'm not sure. What? At least we know why it's still here. I have a lot of only been here a couple hours. You think this is from one of their own? Glover, you copy? Pete, I was just about to call you. Yeah, we got another one. Let me guess, Bobby Walker alive? Yeah, no, she's dead. Head trauma. And I found another set of tracks. Someone bigger. Pete, I don't think we're alone out here. We need some answers. We'll meet you back at the camp. Copy. Hey, this makes three of them. Does that mean we're done here? Follow you. These are the tracks lead down that path. We need to find out what the hell's going on around here. I'm gonna go try to find my deputy. Okay, I'll catch up. You sure? Oh, go ahead. I got Betty. This won't take long. All right, you watch your ass. It's me! Where's Bear? He said he'd be a minute. And you fucking left him? He found another set of tracks. He wanted to check them out. I'm going after him. What? Let him go. Bear! 
Flush them out. We should head back. There's nothing else we can do around here. Hold on a second. I gotta take a piss. Cool. What the fuck? Sheriff! Sheriff! What the hell is going on? We need to get the hell out of here. Best idea I've heard all night. I can't believe this shit is happening. Maybe the old man wasn't so nuts after all. What are you talking about? Nothing. Come on, let's move. You know what? Fuck you! Whoa, what the? You know what, Pete? My ass is on the line the same as yours, so if you know something, you owe it to me to tell me. It's nothing, Eve. Deputy Glover. My dad used to tell me these stories. Yeah, he told us all stories to scare us straight. Yeah, but these stories were always the same, down to every last detail. You remember the Voorhees case? Sure. My dad always said that he was the one that buried Jason Voorhees, but he wasn't dead. What? And somewhere in this camp, after it was condemned. That's crazy. I know. That's what I told myself, but... But? He wrote those words on the lid, Eve. He said it was chained up heavy and locked down tight. So the crate the Jed found. What if it is? <sighs> well, then we have to go in and see if anybody's alive and then get the hell out of here. I'll search where I lost saw bear. You head to the cabins and wait for me. This is a 10 minute fuse. If I don't radio into you by the time that goes out, you jump on an ATV and you ride like hell. You hear me? Well, what are you gonna do? I'll be fine. Eve, thanks for not running away from me. Pete, haven't you figured this out yet? Stop, my dad's just a crazy part though. <laughs> yeah, me too. Mama, mama, can't you see what is going to do to me? Mama, mama, can't you see what this army's done to me? Mama, mama, can't you see?
fuck is going on here? There! No, 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 no! Come on, man! Who's there?
Let's give you a minute. Come on, Pete, we're right there. Hey, asshole. Excuse me? Weren't you supposed to clean up that mess? I'm not doing that. Make one of the inmates do it. Boss clearly said you were supposed to clean up the dick one. Besides, that's a health code thing for inmates. Well, that's bullshit. Hey, I bagged the dick. That means you clean up the rest. Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. Well, still not doing it. You are such a lazy piece of sh. You hear that? That's the boss. He's gonna have your ass. Hey, if you kiss my ass. Out of my way! Shit! What the hell happened? Go! Yeah. Oh. Hey, where are the marshals? They're dead! You got a first aid kit in this place? I could use a painkiller. Hang on. We're 12! I have an officer down coming in dispatch. Oh. Try these on. Damn, you got oh. Oh. You're a lifesaver. Any luck? Cut the power. What the fuck is that? Get back and close the door. Close the door. It's fine, don't worry about it. I got it. to do that again. Are you guys okay? No, he needs a hospital. I'll be fine. How did you find us? I live nearby. I heard your distress call and thought I might be able to help. I'm glad someone did. Yeah. at the bottom of 
up that lake. Who are you? Let's just say I have a history with the Voorhees family, and your father helped me at a time when I really needed it. I always thought the old man was crazy. He was anything but that. Thank you. Hey! What are you gonna do with that thing? It's personal. Hey, Dad. You're right. I'm sorry I didn't realize until now. I never understood the burden you had to carry. I sure as hell feel it now. I'm sorry for doubting you. I hope you find peace knowing that what you did for the people of this town will never be forgotten. And I swear that as long as I'm breathing, I'll do the same. Hey, Dex, bitch.